because y'all know how that is. Dating is hard. Why is dating so hard? Listen, I got y'all on my phone. I need to get my vlogging camera. Let me flip y'all. All right, that's a little bit better. I'm vlogging from my phone. It's just easier for me to vlog from my phone. I have this expensive ass camera that I invested in and I haven't vlogged on it as of yet. But good morning. Um, I'm about to do just my facial routine, brush my teeth, get my life together, check on my friend. She just had a baby. It was a traumatic experience. We all prayed for it and she made it through. So we're just thankful for that, but I need to make sure she's okay. So first I'm going to get my life together. This melatonin, y'all. Listen, let me sit down and talk to y'all about these melatonin. This melatonin took me out. I should only took one. I took two. I took one and it felt like it was making me tired, but I didn't feel like I could fall asleep fast. And so I took another one. Next thing I knew it was morning like but um but yeah i got some stuff to do i need to run um some errands today and so we're gonna get all of that done all of that so we're gonna be doing that today i'm supposed to be going to the chiropractor between today and tomorrow i also have a, a pilates appointment tomorrow that i'm supposed to be going to um but my aunt Flo just came in today and i don't know I'm gonna be feeling about that. Y'all don't mind the crust of my eyes. I just start talking to y'all from the lower cut. So let me let me get together and then I'll, I'll be back. doing the dry down y'all because I need to tell y'all how TikTok influenced me because this is this is, is kind of not okay but um I ended up getting this this blooms um I've been using it it's probably like half full I don't know why I did that because there's a little scooper in there and that's gonna be buried in the stuff I'm a little OCD I don't like touching stuff like that but here let me sit y'all right here because this is a good angle actually bam I'm gonna sit y'all don't mind that leaf <laughs> From my plant. This is a faux plant that I got actually. Let me scoop that up. I'm not gonna rip my leaf in your face. Bam. But yeah. So I got this blooms. Um, honestly, I don't know if I'm gonna repurchase it. Hmm, it's okay. But um also I wasn't influenced by TikTok, but I influenced my damn self because I needed to take some vitamins and make sure that as I get older that I am growing with myself and that I'm taking everything that I need to take. So just to get um, more healthy and to kind of help with my appetite and my um, consistent workouts and weight loss and all of that, I have these apple cider vinegars uh, capsules. So these are not gummies. The gummies are full of sugar and I don't do those anymore. I still have probably like two bottles one that I got from TJ Maxx and one that I ordered um and when I learned how much sugar was in them I was like because I went carb free and I was like I can't take these this is gonna take me out of ketosis so I have this it's a capsule it's got a dehydrated apple cider vinegar powder inside and this is Bragg's the girls that know no and then you just take this right before your meal every time you eat. You're supposed to take it three times a day, once before every meal. Um, I usually end up taking it like once or twice a day and it does what it needs to do. It definitely suppresses your appetite. You're supposed to take it with a full glass of water. So, um, I also take omega-3 fatty fish oil. Now, if you've ever taken fish oil before, you may know that sometimes you can burp up like a fishiness. This is a burpless fish oil pill. Show you what it looks like. If you're not good at taking pills, don't be coming following me because 
I don't got no problem with swallowing large capsules. So this is what it looks like. And it doesn't taste like fish at all. I've never burped up a fishy smell or anything like that. And lastly, my doctor told me my iron was low. So I just have a nature's made iron pill. So. But yeah, I'm about to take these three, drink my blooms, and I also only drink a cup of this. So this is hibiscus tea. It's so good for blood pressure, circulation, um, for just, it's got so many vitamins and minerals and everything. This is organic, Anthony's organic hibiscus flower. It's uh, dry. And I don't even bother like straining it. I just literally put the, what it looks like. I just literally put it into the container, put in four bottles of spring water, let it steep overnight, and that's it. I don't add sugar, nothing. And I just drink it like that. Um, yeah, if I want some sweetness to it, I might add some honey to a cup. Um, but it's very few and far between. I usually just drink it like it's medicinal, and I'll have a cup, at least one cup a day. So, yeah. Um, sometimes two or three. Sometimes I just drink it with my meal. But, yeah. So, that's just some of the ways that I'm trying to stay on top of my health journey. You do yours your way, that's my way. But let me let this finish drying, take all of this stuff, and then I'll haul on. All right, y'all, this is what we looking like after the 20 minute dry down. So I wasn't expecting this from this mask because normally with the mask, it's super duper like dry. <laughs> this one is like literally like a moisturizer mask. Am I even supposed to wash this off? I feel like I'm just supposed to rub it in after 20 minutes. Rinse well. All right, let's get to it. Ooh. Oh, goodness. Yeah, I love that mask. Like, that mask. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, maybe are you supposed to do, like, the detoxifying one and then the moisturizing one to put the moisture back in? I don't know. I'm going to have to look it up. But that mask, baby. Do you see the skin? I haven't even put on any moisturizer, no toner, no nothing. Baby, I love that mask. She's here to stay. Moisturizing Moon Mask from Glossier. Listen, this is not even a sponsored programming. Like, this is just really good. I really like that. All right, I need to do a lip scrub. I have this one from Ancient Cosmetics. It's really crumbly. I feel like I need to add more oil to it. Like, it's not the consistency that I like. But, I mean, it, it does the job. I might go put some olive oil in it. And this one, I loved, clearly. This one came from Bath & Body Works. It was the Vanilla Sugar Scrub. I'm probably going to use the last little bit that's in here because I need to remix and reformulate this because it smells amazing, but it's not giving what I need it to give. It's got cocoa butter, jojoba oil, and then, of course, the scrub content. So I'm probably going to scoop this out, add some more oil to the consistency that I like, and then scoop it back in. And it's probably going to make two, so I'll have two containers. So that's what we'll do with that. And I actually even have this tropical body oil. So I may just use some of this to make that better. So we'll see. We're going to see. It's just not where I want it to be right now. But let me go ahead. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that was very moisturizing. <laughs> Listen. They had a watermelon one that was super good. The Bath and Body Works lip scrubs are amazing. So, I'm a, listen. My best friend is texting y'all, and I don't know what the hell she wrote. Like this, this heifer I ain't never been got in contact with when I want to call her, but she want me to interrupt my everything to get to her. And I am because I'm a good best friend. So I'll holla. I'll be back in a bit. And just like that, I'm back like I never left. Okay. So let's finally finish your skincare. The lips are supple. You see them. moisturized skin after about 15 minutes all of this wetness that you see is gonna be dry and soaked in but my skin's gonna be supple like a baby's booty yeah 
like it's a newborn. Like it's just burst. <laughs> All right. I got to get ready to go because we're about to run to the store. So I'll holler at y'all at the store. But I think we're going to go to the international market. I didn't want to do so. I said it was market earlier, but international. So yeah, that's good. Right now it's just me um so i'm not gonna go to the market later my friend is gonna ride with her boyfriend to the market so cool i'm gonna run to the bank run to starbucks i wanna um get a green tea watch because i haven't had one in a long time so if y'all ride with me you're covered by medicaid all right y'all i'm about to ride out and listen to some music so i'll call it all right y'all i know i said i was driving to starbucks but i think i'm about to door dash to starbucks because <sighs> I just don't feel like it. So I just had to deal with some maintenance shit at my office and then people piss me off. Y'all know how the people can piss you off my tub and my main bathroom needs to be resurfaced and they taking their time. I don't take my time to pay you the rent. So you need to take not take your time to fix my shit. But um, but yeah, so I'm just gonna go up here and I look cute too. I ain't got nowhere to go now. Hold on, let me pause and give y'all a outfit of the day. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna try to put my camera down and shoot it that way. So I'm about to go up here and uh, find something. So we're gonna see. All right, y'all. At this point, I didn't came all the way out of those outside clothes. I'm literally about to take this makeup off. So I met this guy and he asked me out to coffee later. Maybe I'll remake myself back up, depending on if I feel like going, like, because y'all know how that is. Dating is hard. Why is dating so hard? But I did get my Starbucks, so let me, let me get that together. As a matter of fact, let me put y'all on my tripod so we can talk. And this might even help some more. Boom. Look at God. Put the ring light. But, um, yeah, I got my Starbucks door dashed to me. So and listen the way y'all don't this is how i like my matcha y'all be coming up with all kinds of stuff on how y'all like y'all's but i get my venti i need it all oat milk clearly um four pumps of brown sugar syrup because it's venti if it was like a grande i probably get like maybe two maybe three depending on how sweet i'm feeling and then if it was like a small or tall then i would get maybe one pump two again depending on how i'm feeling um, I also have pistachio sauce in here because they have the pistachio right now. And then I have pistachio sweet cream cold foam. And that's how I do my drink. How you do yours is up to you. Starbucks is there to individualize. And I don't yuck nobody's yum. So y'all enjoy. This, the brown sugar syrup makes this taste like an ice cream. Like a matcha flavored ice cream. Um, it really does get rid of that earthy taste. So if you're not in, I like the earthy taste actually. So I'll drink green matcha, just straight green matcha and water. Like I don't even need anything else in it. I can do that. Um, at one point when I was doing like a dietary supplement with matcha, because it does help to curb your appetite and provide you with a lot of uh, antioxidants and nutrients and things like that. But at one point when I was doing that, I was literally just drinking a cup of matcha in the morning. Literally just matcha powder mixed with the little thing from Karate Kid. Y'all know the one. <laughs> and um, that would pretty much be it. So, we got this little sticker up here. I'm about to get a straw. Damn sticker. I want to taste the sweet cream cold foam at the same time. That's how I like mine, but let's see. Listen, the pistachio sweet cream cold foam at the top. Cheers. Mm. It's amazing. And the other thing that I always get from Starbucks. Some people like the croissant. Some people like all of that. Like, listen. We're in a weight loss journey. Anybody got time for all that? So I get the egg white bites. These are the um, roasted red pepper ones. I also like the mushroom ones. I'm really not picky. Um, 
so this is what they look like. Mm. You really can pick this up and eat it with your hand. I'm being real boozy right now. Mm, 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 mm. These were so good that I made some myself and froze them. Like I made my own recipe for these. They were. If y'all want to see that recipe, comment down below. But. Clearly, these are carb free. It's literally just egg whites, um, roasted red peppers, like kale, I think, is in here, and some kind of cheese, pepper jack, maybe. Mm. Baby, listen, if you're out there and you're trying to get to my heart, get me my green tea, and get me these little egg white bites. Bring it to me as breakfast in bed. <laughs> Ain't no tell her how far I'll go, boy. Ain't no tell her how far I'll go. <laughs> mm. Mm -mm -mm. And it's good because it's so satisfying. It's like not too much, not too little type of thing. This with that. This gonna last me for a minute. Mm. Oh my God, it don't even do it justice to drink it with a straw. If you get a matcha and you get the sweet cream cold foam on top and you drink it with a straw, you're doing yourself a disservice. <clears throat> when you drink, the green is gonna come up and you're gonna get a combination of the two when you drink it from the thing. If you put the straw in, you're going to miss the sweet cream cold foam when you drink. It's literally pointless to get the cream foam if you're going to drink it with a straw. Because you're just going to be drinking the stuff at the bottom. But, um, yeah. Yeah. Alright. Y'all know how y'all dance when y'all get food that y'all like. I'm about to edit these videos catch up on some TV. I don't even know what I'm... I, I, so I downloaded Paramount Plus to watch Babylon. If you've seen Babylon, comment down below because that movie weird is... Like, the beginning of it was like... <laughs> oh! Okay, this is how we get down when we got money and we are others. <laughs> Oh my gosh, baby, that, it was, I, I didn't even get halfway through the movie. And I was like, oh, this is weird. There was a lot going on. Again, I'm not here to yuck nobody's yum to you. But, I've never experienced anything like that. Would I like to experience some things like that? I don't know. <laughs> oh my gosh. I see everything in my mouth. Would I like to experience some things like that? Who knows? But, um, not all of it. No, but some of those things look like, you know, that could be a little bit fun. And I'm a fun girl. I'm an open-minded type of person, so. Now, did y'all know that Sephora delivers? Because they eat. <laughs> so, the other day I purchased like a travel size bottle of the Yum Pistachio by Kayali, right? I ain't like the way it smells. <laughs> supposed to be like a pistachio almondy like creamy type of gourmand smell that's not what I got from it um, I got more astringent like house cleaner smell so I purchased the yum pistachio and, and also purchased this vanilla royale sugared patchouli I really like this one this reminds me a lot of mfk um mfk which one not love, don't be, no, it's not love, don't be shy. And it's not MFK anyway, it's MFK. Oh my gosh. Gentle fluidity go, gentle fluidity go. So I said that I wasn't gonna touch this Kayali, that I was just gonna let it sit and macerate. This is the Yum Pistachio Gelato, the travel size. But um, I don't know, I'm gonna try to mix it with the stuff that I got from Sephora and make a better smell because 
it's not working right now. Everybody else say they keep getting compliments, telling them they smell delicious and all that stuff. Not at all. That shit stink. Like, <laughs> so let's do a quick unboxing of the stuff that I got from Sephora. I got this Fenty lip oil. It's a cherry lip oil that everybody keeps raving about, saying it's the best lip oil ever. So we about to see. I love a good glistening lip, as you can see. Right now, my very favorite lip balm is from Glossier. So let me see. Oh, that looks like an oil. That looks like a, a gloss. Let me see. I'm going to wipe this off. Do I have a napkin? And I do. All right, now my lips is dry. And let's try this on. It's a little sticky. Oh. It smells nice and cherry-like. Hmm, I like that. Okay. It's very conditioning, it doesn't have a taste. It just simply has like a very light cherry smell. But I can get with this. This is nice. It just reminds me of the other Fenty glosses that is there. Like without sparkles and stuff. It's just literally just like a tinted gloss. So this is nice. I'm not mad at it. Um, I got this free with some points that I got from Navy Federal Credit Union. If y'all have a Navy Federal Credit Union credit card, get your points. So once you spend enough money, then, um, I feel like for every 2,500 points, you get a point for every dollar and for every 2,500 points, you get $25. So if you're using your card, like if you're using your card smartly, <laughs> uh, to pay bills and then just pay the card off, then, you know, <clears throat> you come across this quickly. You can use it to pay your rent. Like if your rent is like a thousand dollars within like three months, you'll have enough to get a $25 gift card for several places. You don't even have to do this. You can get cash. They'll give you $25 back in like a Visa credit card. You can do Sephora. You can do Ulta. They have all kinds of stuff. So I use mine for Sephora this time. <laughs> all right. Next up. I don't know. They gave me some samples. This Amika overnight hydration treatment. I don't know. Is this a something you drink or just something you put on your face I don't know I'll read more about this in a minute <clears throat> I got the ordinary multi peptide eye cream because the other one that I have I don't feel like it's doing much of anything I don't have a lot to do much to but you know I wanted to try something a little stronger so I got this it's from the ordinary I think this is like ten dollars it wasn't expensive at all i love the ordinary for that their um, skincare is super affordable so if you're just getting started definitely go and talk to a sephora rep and see what's going to be good for you and try some ordinary products because they are really inexpensive they have some stuff that are like five and six dollars like i said this wasn't ten dollars i feel like the prices are going up but inflation of everything but yeah um <clears throat> i got a fenty butter drop refill I already have the container and I was afraid this is gonna be teeny tiny because they say it travel size but this is actually a decent size of spray and this is the Sol de Janeiro uh, Rio Radiant so I've never smelled this one um, but of course I got the Chorizo 62 which is the standard that goes in the bum bump cream it smells just like it I literally got these to go with the yum pistachio because you know the bum bum cream has that also pistachio node and all of that so i wish they sold this in a bigger one because y'all be trying y'all be coming for my money and i hear that oh that smells so bad um it's very you gotta know what bum bum cream smells like <laughs> if you don't get somewhere and try some um they have something called brazilian nut cream from trader joe's that's like a tenth of the price so definitely get there if you got a trader joe's i hear it's always sold out though so good luck um but yeah so i'm hoping that this will do what i need it to do oh yeah it smells good it's i mean some people say it's nothing to write home about. I like the smell of it. And when I mix it with certain perfumes and things like that, it does enhance those scents. Like I've been told 
all kinds of ways about the way that I smell once I mix this in. Um, Tree Hut also makes a dupe that I put in another video, probably like two vlogs below. I'll try to link it down below if I can remember. Um, but yeah, they make a dupe too. Um, and there's a super cheap, it's like seven or eight dollars. So yeah, but, um, and it smells just like this. It doesn't last as long. I will say that, but this, this is very, it's not even tropical. Cause when you think tropical, you want to think guava, pineapple, mango, coconut. That's not what this is. This is caramel. Mm, let me see if it says what the notes are. Cause I'll put the notes on the screen, but, um, yeah, it's got a caramel note in it. It's got the pistachio. It's got, it smells, it's not overpowering. It's not very perfumey, if you know what I mean. It's not like a perfumey perfume. Um, it almost smells like the best skincare products you could possibly buy. Like you smell luxurious and expensive. So, but yeah, hopefully this paired with the almond, um, with the pistachio and the yum pistachio will give it what it needs to get because and that's what I feel like is happening I feel like people are layering that yum pistachio and getting compliments and people are using and saying that it's the yum pistachio that people are complimenting that's not necessarily so now everything smells different on everybody so there's that <clears throat> but um I'm just not I wasn't feeling it I'm gonna let it macerate a little bit longer and then I'm gonna try layering it with these but I really feel like people are putting on the Yum Pistachio and either wearing it with that new pistache uh, body cream that you can get off of Amazon or they're layering it with this or something in this family and then they're getting compliments. But it's more this is enhancing that, not that's enhancing this. You know what I mean? So I don't know, but we'll see. I've never smelled this one. I was intrigued by the notes and everything. And again, I'll put them on the screen. I mean, I kind of want to get a smell of it on its own. So I'm going to just spray mm, the notification of the B.I.B. cell. <laughs> oh, yeah, this smells amazing. It smells like, um, it smells like suntan lotion. But better. It smells like a better suntan lotion. It smells nice. I feel like there's something tropical in this. This smells tropical. Like, this smells like it has, like, some kind of juicy fruit in it pineapple or mango mm. oh my god the dry down is so beautiful oh that's nice i'm gonna have to get a bigger this was nice <laughs> i don't smell like roaches in here or nothing <laughs> oh my god oh that i already got on easy me i don't even care mm. Cause this is also a hairspray, just so y'all know. Oh, that this is nice. Get you some of this. This is nice. They got a, um a bum bum cream and this scent coming out. <laughs> it will come out to April. And in my perfume group, I signed up for a no by April. Oh, this actually probably would pair very well with that Solil Blanc, actually. This actually gives Soleil Blanc vibes. It does not smell like Soleil Blanc. Don't go around telling people that Sharina told you that this smells like Soleil Blanc. It does not. But I can see that this would layer very well with the Soleil Blanc. And I'm excited about all of this. So I got some new good goodies. <laughs> Why am I like this? But yeah, so I'm about to go put the refill in the Fenty. I already know. Everybody knows what butter drop smells like. It's the most luxurious like I am going to be coming up with my own skincare line for body butters and body sprays. And my goal is to have a consistency like butter drop. I don't want it to smell like butter drop. This smells amazing, but that's a Fenty thing. I'm going to have my own scents. Um, but I'm going to have a line of scents that all feel like this butter drop or like the bum bum cream like these have a similar type of consistency they smooth on to your skin very good they absorb quickly they leave you moisturized that is my goal for my own skincare line so yeah <clears throat> stay tuned <laughs> i'm about to go ahead and refill this butter drop put all this other stuff away and i'll talk to y'all later